We've all seen the trucks with Bunzel on them, haven't we? But who is Bunzel and what does it do? Well, most of us never think about who supplies those behind-the-scenes products and the consumables that we never take much notice of. The coffee cups in your high street coffee shop. The carrier bags for your local supermarket. The toilet rolls and soap dispensers in the hotel down the road. The high visibility jacket on the construction site. The examination gloves in the doctor's surgery. And all of those cleaning items that are needed to keep the places you like to visit clean and hygienic. In other words, Bunzel supplies items that businesses use but don't directly sell. Well, here is the important bit. Bunzel is a truly unique one-stop shop for non-food consumables. So now you know what Bunzel does, but you may not be aware of its sheer size. Bunzel is the world's largest supplier of these kinds of items. So how has Bunzel become so large and successful? The name comes from Moritz Bunzel. He ran a haberdashery, a business supplying clothing, in Bratislava from 1854. In 1938, as war became a possibility in Central Europe, the business moved to the UK. Bunzel grew and was first listed on the London Stock Exchange in 1957. Over the years, the nature of the business changed dramatically from a largely manufacturing business to one wholly engaged in distribution. Now in over 20 countries across the world, Bunzel is truly a global business. But how has it done it and why is it so successful? Well, certainly its employees and service are second to none. Bunzel staff are passionate about the company and keen to build and maintain relationships with colleagues, suppliers and customers. The Bunzel teams around the world don't just do what is needed, they go beyond. They'll work with customers to develop bespoke services. For example, item ordering and account software for a chain of restaurants, or a customer branded catalogue highlighting recommended equipment for a national construction company. Ask Bunzel's customers and they'll tell you that they love the service they get. From the ease of ordering from one source and having one monthly statement, to the level of knowledge that the staff have. As a result, Bunzel has received a number of awards for service all over the world. Another reason for Bunzel's success is, of course, its business model. We'll look at this later. Bunzel is focused on serving its customers in a number of key markets. These are predominantly food service, grocery, cleaning and hygiene, safety, non-food retail, and healthcare. Let's take a quick look at each of these. Food service comprises the supply of non-food consumables, including food packaging, disposable tableware, guest amenities and catering equipment to hotels, restaurants, contract caterers, the leisure sector and food processors. Next is grocery, supplying goods not for resale, that's items grocers use but do not actually sell, including food packaging, films, labels and carrier bags, to grocery stores, supermarkets and convenience stores. Cleaning and hygiene relates to the supply of chemicals, hygiene paper and cleaning accessories predominantly to industrial and facilities management companies. Next comes safety. The supply of a complete range of head-to-toe personal protection equipment, including hard hats, hearing and eye protection, workwear, gloves and boots, to manufacturing and construction customers. Non-food retail consists of goods not for resale, including packaging and point-of-sale products, that's carrier bags, hangers and till rolls, to department stores, boutiques, retail chains and home improvement stores. Finally, we have healthcare, consisting of disposable healthcare consumables, including gloves, swabs, gowns, bandages, and basic medical devices to the healthcare sector. Now that you have a good idea of what Bunzel supplies, let's take a look at its business model. Simply put, Bunzel manages the supply chain of the consumable products we have just seen for its customers, leaving them free to focus on the more important parts of their business. 
global sourcing and procurement. This starts with a worldwide sourcing and procurement operation, since Bunzel does not manufacture any of the products it supplies. Products are either sourced from large multinational manufacturers, such as those shown, with well-established brands, or from smaller, low-cost producers, whose products are then sold either under Bunzel brands or unbranded. To keep a close eye on the quality of the own brand and unbranded products it sources in Asia, Bunzel has invested in a state-of-the-art sourcing and consolidation centre in Shanghai. This facility gives Bunzel the opportunity to quality test products before they are shipped and to maximise its buying power. The Shanghai-based team are also able to carry out audits of manufacturers' facilities, thereby ensuring that the sustainability and corporate social responsibility priorities of Bunzel's customers are met. Most of Bunzel's competitors, many of whom are not global players, cannot offer these quality assurances to their customers. International Warehousing and Distribution Once sourced, products are stored within Bunzel's global warehousing network of over 230 facilities. Each warehouse carries a range of products corresponding to the market sector it serves, as we've just seen, giving its customers maximum choice and instant availability. Inventory levels are optimised using sophisticated computer software, and efficiency of operations are achieved through a focus on continual improvement. The distribution of the products to the customers is also highly efficient. Vehicle routing software minimises the cost and environmental impact of each delivery, while fleet improvements, such as fitting wind deflectors, increase fuel efficiency. Bunzel has even invested in an electric delivery vehicle in the UK to reduce its carbon footprint. Customers are given a range of delivery options to suit their needs. Larger customers with multiple sites can choose between delivery to individual locations and delivery into their own warehouses for cross-docking with their goods for resale. Now let's see where Bunzel does this and how much of it, in terms of revenues, it does. Bunzel operates in over 20 countries that are grouped into four geographically based business areas and has a turnover of some £5 billion. Let's start with North America. The North America business area has always been Bunzel's largest and was its first outsourcing operation. In the early 1990s, annual revenue here was under a billion dollars. Since then, Growth has been helped by entry into Canada in 1996, the food processor market in 2000, convenience stores in 2004, and non-food retail in 2005. Today, the revenue has quadrupled to around $4 billion, representing around half of the group. One of the key differences in this business area compared to the others is that it works with redistributors. Bunzel sells to redistributors, predominantly in the food service and cleaning and hygiene markets, who then sell on to their customers. Redistribution accounts for around 30% of revenue in this region. UK and Ireland. The UK and Ireland business area is Bunzel's most diverse by market sector and has grown substantially since Bunzel made its first acquisition here in 1993. Let's take a look at the growth since then. From a revenue of around £18 million, the entry into numerous new market sectors has helped increase revenue to just over £1 billion. Continental Europe. All areas of Bunzel have grown dramatically in the last 10 to 15 years, and in quite different ways. In Europe, Bunzel has mainly grown by acquiring businesses in new countries. In the mid-90s, Bunzel was present only in Holland and generating annual revenue of around 9 million euros. Its expansion began with entries into Germany and Denmark and, in 2004, accelerated with a significant entry into the French market. The map shows clearly Bunzel's rapid progress in Europe, during which annual revenue of 1 billion euros was reached. As well as future expansion opportunities in these countries, there are still many European countries where Bunzel does not yet have any presence. The fourth and final business area is called the rest of the world and is pretty exciting too. 
Australasia and Brazil combined have more than doubled turnover in the last five years. In Australasia, it's food service that is the largest sector, whilst in Brazil, it's the safety sector. Well, Bunzel certainly sounds extremely impressive, but the real proof comes from asking the customers what they think. I'll leave you with some of their comments. Bunzel offers for us a one-stop shop um, with everything that goes with that. Um, also, Bunzel has access to a reputable products. O grande diferencial da Banzo Proticap é a solidez da empresa. There's no competitor that we're aware of that can come and offer all of our needs. It's the people at Banzo that make them different in my view. Um, very much the attitude, flexibility, you know, can-do approach to getting things done, uh, and the willingness to work with us, uh, whatever we might try out. It's my opinion that the people uh, working for Banzo are very responsible. When you're talking to Banzo, they actually think about what the customer wants, they're trying to make things easier for the organisation. My experience of Banzo Greenland is they always go that extra bit, that extra mile for you. I, I think that, that Bunzel's core functionality is just superb. I, I don't know how Bunzel could do, uh, do better 